Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lizzie and I post a lot of beauty related content here on YouTube. If they're the kind of videos you love to watch then please hit that subscribe button down below. Today's video I'm super super excited for just because Simpsons have come out with a collaboration with Revolution and I'm not even showing you the boxes properly. We've got a highlight, we've got a liquid bronzer, we've got a liquid blush, wrong way round, we've got a palette. Now there's so many more things in this collection but I'm trying to be good when it comes to collections and not buy every single thing. So I did want these two because I've got to love a cream bronzer and a cream uh, blush. Had to buy the highlighter and I got Lisa's palette. There is a bigger palette but I was more inspired by this palette here. I definitely love it. It's a bit, bit more neutral, a bit more me. This is their Summer of Love collection which has come out at the right time i'm loving it so let's throw some swatches on for you all right so here are the swatches they're not swatched i thought i was going straight and ended up going sideways i need to really find a different way of swatching but these are all the colors that blue turquoisey kind of color isn't that pigmented but let's see how it does on the eyes because usually it does better okay I'm excited for this palette. Let's go in to one of these adorable colours. I love that there's imprints of hearts in there as well. I think the first thing I'm going to do is take this shade down here and just really put it in my outer corner. Well that went in quite in on quite well. Let's take Prom Queen and put that above. I didn't say the name of this because I really don't know how to pronounce mm, Macram macrame is that how you spell it say it i don't know let's just not say it anymore let's take a bit of femme above that these are blending out together so nicely and next shade is this one called pour Vue. i think that's how you say it I'm gonna go a bit different and take Sunrise as the color on my lid. I was tempted by a gold, but I'm not gonna do it. Okay, that shade I had to work with two different brushes. I had to take my Jessup 234 Lux shader to get the shade onto my lid. Then I had to take the PC40 to really get it into the crease and like make that line sharp because yeah, um, it did not want to go on on my lid with the flat shader. But now, I'm thinking of taking the shade Boogie Down, which is this shade here, to blend it into that darker shade on the outer corner. And then we go back in with Macrame just to blend out the edges into that shimmer colour. There we have it. Now... I do think I need to go back in and blend a lot more at the moment, which I'm going to do. That shimmer is very crumbly. They're very different textures of shimmer. You've got ones that don't want to go on your lid, and then you've got ones that are very thick. So let me go back in, blend a bit more, and we'll come back to put the bronzer on. I put liner and lashes on for the first time in a very long time. I actually use the Catwoman lashes. So I'm actually really happy to be using them. I'm, I can't believe I put lashes on. Let's go in with the bronzer and I've seemed to lost, nope, but they're here. I don't know how I always lose things next to me, but we've got the bronzer in the shade Radiant and this is what it looks like. There is the shade. It's a very moussey formula. It's a bit ready toned as well, which I like because it gives you that sun kissed look. Okay, that is a nice shade for me. Very ready toned, brilliant for this kind of weather. I'm just going to finish off the rest of my face, but that blended in really well. I'm using a Revolution R25. These brushes are amazing. I, I'm telling you, you guys need them. I love that. It's looking patchy on camera, but it's not patchy. Wait till we put the powder on, I'm telling you. Then we have a liquid blusher in the shade Daydream. 
Oh, it's a really nice bright pink. So I'm only gonna put a tiny bit on. Okay. There we have it. That's looking gorgeous. Now, powder and then we have a highlight to test. Let's put some highlight on. Now, this is the shade I got and this is the packaging. It's gorgeous. It's in the shade Sunshine, I believe. Summer of Love Sunshine. There's two. I bought the darker one. Just look at that mirror. Ain't that gorgeous? Anywho, I'm loving the imprint. I think these are like ombre highlights. So I'm hoping like the lighter side down here will be okay for me. Might be a little bit too dark, but we'll make it work. Yeah, it's too dark. Usually the darker shades do all right on my forehead because of the bronzer. All right, I'm not gonna put it on my nose. I tried to, but then I realized it's gonna leave a big bad cast. I'm just gonna put something else on my nose. On my lips is a combination of the Revolution Pro Vamped Liner, and then I put the Homer Simpson Lip Kit from their previous collab. I actually love this color. Got a bit of this Relove one. All right, we're finished. All right, let's start talking about the products. I'm actually really happy with the look. So, first bad boy is this palette. I love this palette. This palette was definitely a bit of me when it, I saw it. I felt like the bigger palette was just a bit too much for me. This is something I could pull out every day and then in summer you can use some of the blues in it. The Colour worked better on this eye, you know where I said it, it was a bit thick, the texture over here? Yeah, over here it was perfectly fine, so maybe I just put too much product onto my eyeshadow brush. These shimmer shades, <laughs> they literally just melted into my skin over here, so I think it was just me. I love the packaging, I love everything about it. I think this was like £10, I might be wrong. I thought this was going to be as small as the palettes that came out in the last launch because they were definitely a quarter of this size maybe or a third of this size. I was pretty impressed when I opened the palette and this is how big it was. And the packaging is gorgeous. The bronzer is nice. It's a bit more cool tone, look, readier tone, not cool tone. It's got a little bit of a glimmer in there and they only brought out one bronzer in this range and it's not going to suit every skin tone so it's a bit annoying that they've done that. Like... They should have brought out more, but the blush shade is perfect and it's quite a bright one, so I feel like darker skin tones might get able to, might be able to use it. I'm not too sure. It is brighter than what it looks in the tube. The highlight is stunning. Again, I love the packaging. That colour is gorgeous. I love that it's ombre, but it's just a tad too dark for me. But I have got some Revolution Tan here that I will be using at some point so i'm excited to use that because then hopefully i can start using my tanner shades of everything but yeah this is the finished makeup what do you guys think i love it absolutely love this collection i just feel like if you're gonna do a collection with bronzers in you definitely need more than just one shade other than that love it there was like a bigger palette there was brushes there was a couple of other things I can't remember now, but these are the items that stuck out to me and what I feel like I would use. There were some lip balm type things. I didn't feel like they were lipsticks. And because I already have all these lip kits from their last launch, I didn't feel like buying them again. So I do hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please smash it a huge thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.